Hello everyone, it's Glitch now, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Manual. So we're starting off in the potion brewing room again because I need to brew a couple potions that we actually don't have right now, and they are going to involve the pufferfish. So I'm going to be grabbing some of our water bottles and putting three into each of our brewing stands. I do actually need to make a couple more like that, and you know, just the infinite water source right here, pretty simple. But yeah, we're going to be taking our nether wart, which we actually have quite a lot of just from mini harvest with the fortune hoe. Because yes, the fortune hoe does actually give you more nether wart, just a quick tip. And then we're going to let this sit real quick. And then after that, we have to add our little pufferfish buddies. So yeah, they give us the water breathing effect. And then after that, all we need to do is add some redstone. So I should have some right in here. Yep, we do have a lot more than this. I just uh, only brought a little bit into... The brewing room but yeah these are almost done so i'll actually let this sit and then we can hear the little glug glug glugs because i do really love it when a bunch of okay yeah i had to stop talking there for a second but yeah final little thing redstone to make these three minute potions into eight minutes and then we can move on to getting some of the other stuff that we're gonna need because uh yeah we're gonna be doing a ocean monument raid and although you don't need these things i would recommend having the majority of them because it makes it a lot easier and you can avoid dying and you know whenever you can avoid dying that's always good so yeah now we have quite a few water breathing potions we could brew up some night vision potions too but i don't really think that we need those so yeah we're just gonna go with this i actually do have a couple shulker boxes i've organized the ender chest a little bit not too much we're gonna make that look better in a future episode but yeah we're gonna go ahead and put these on here nine water breathing potions that's way more than enough we're also gonna be bringing our trident as well as a couple buckets of milk. I'm just gonna make a couple of the buckets. So we'll make nine of them like that. And we'll just put these, the iron back in here. We also need to actually, real quick, then milk this cow repeatedly. And we should have enough milk buckets as well. So nine of those. <laughs> Looks kind of like we're making like a, like a bar or a tavern or something. Maybe we'll do that in the future because that's actually a pretty cool build. But I think that should be enough. We're also going to bring a couple of blocks. So maybe six stacks of blocks should be good. And um, I don't think there's really anything else that we need to bring with us. Uh, we have enough food, I think. Um, do we actually? Uh, oh, how did those fall out? I guess we can, uh, we can breed up the cows and then harvest them so that we have some extra steak. Breed, 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 breed. Kill, 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 kill kill feel guilty and stand in the corner reminiscing over your actions cook the food and then instantly forget your sadness because the steak tastes so good okay that should be everything prepared and now all we got to do is go and actually find the ocean monument and i think that's not gonna be too difficult because i have some oceans in the area I'm just going to fly over them and, you know, just try to find an ocean monument. So I guess I will come back after we found one. After around 20 minutes, I've found an ocean monument. They look like this. Lots of prismarine, kind of in a C shape. I guess if you look at it from this angle, it does kind of look like a C. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've set up a little area over here, but we're actually going to move a little bit closer and this is what the blocks are for. We're going to be taking some of our blocks. And then we're going to come over here. Go over to the ocean monument. This is kind of dangerous. But we should be alright. <laughs> and when I say alright, I mean that we shouldn't die. But yeah, we're just going to make a little area like this. We're going to take some damage. The guardians have lasers. And these lasers will do a little bit of damage to you. But um, if you have some decent armor, it doesn't actually hurt that bad. All you have to do is make a small ring, like so. And then after that, we can come down here, make a little area where we can just drop down. So like that, I'm going to make a couple more walls, just to be careful. And then we are going to take our bed, set it down. We want to make sure we have our respawn point set because these things can be dangerous. And then I'll take around a stack of blocks in, three of the water breathing potions, maybe four and then maybe three of the milk buckets and yeah see we're gonna get this mining fatigue um debuff and it's basically makes it so it's impossible to mine blocks kind of annoying we actually do need our our uh, trident because 
basically there's an enchantment on it called impaling and impaling does more damage to a sea creatures so i can just hit stuff it'll come back to me and it does quite a lot of damage actually so um this doesn't one shot them but <laughs> this is basically the best possible weapon you can want for this kind of raid you're gonna use the milk bucket to get rid of the to of the effect then i'm gonna drop down here and we're just gonna kill our first elder guardian it's doing a little bit of damage but like as you can see when you have the the buff it uh or the impaling enchantment it doesn't do that much damage i seem to be getting quite a lot of water you'll get a sponge from these guys too which is pretty cool but yeah uh i'm gonna put on my chest plate and my elytra's actually kind of broken from all that flying but yeah we're just gonna have to kind of move around and what we can actually do is oh i actually got the mining fatigue again look at that this is what the milk bucket is for we're gonna come up here and basically the guardians will be in the wings of the thing so there's gonna be one over here i'm gonna fly over here or swim i guess drop down and there should be a guardian around this area and we're just gonna kind of throw our trident there we go that's pretty simple come back up here then there's gonna be one more so there's always three guardians in a temple so i don't know did i not get water breathe oh i used the milk bucket okay let's let's come up and get some air uh milk buckets will also get, get rid of the water breathing so kind of use it sparingly but we should be okay gonna drop down here and the last one should be down here and uh it's gonna come over here smack this guy a couple times and just like that we've killed all of the elder guardians so we can drink our water breathing potion and then we're gonna move towards the middle of the area because there's gonna be a little bit of loot here that we're gonna want so oh we actually found a sponge room okay so there are gonna be a couple of these sponge rooms sometimes there won't be any actually but the majority of the time there's gonna be at least one and there can be up to i think six of them or five and basically you can use a hoe to harvest them and sponges are extremely useful for clearing out big areas of water so make sure you gather them this one was a bit of a smaller room but yeah this is uh the time where you can go ahead and just kind of search search through the monument try to find all its all its secrets you know so yeah there's gonna be one room in the middle it's gonna kind of look like a big center room and we just gotta find it so it might be a little bit more difficult we can actually just uh go ahead and swim right in here and yeah this is blocked off apparently but if we just come up here the guardians are actually gonna be scared of you so uh don't be afraid to attack them because when you do they're gonna run away from you and then that's when you kind of gotta do the most damage possible but yeah here here's the center room uh it's gonna have this nice dark prismarine area and you're gonna have a bunch of gold blocks in here which are actually pretty useful now in 1.16 <laughs> and so yeah um that's the main loot rooms but there's also gonna be maybe more sponge rooms so what i'm gonna do is just kind of go through these rooms and try to find one second sponge room has been found gonna go ahead and harvest all these sponges normally they take a while to harvest but man these hoes are amazing after doing a bit more searching i didn't find any more of the sponge rooms but there is actually another thing that these um monuments are useful for and it actually has to do with these little buddies over there <laughs> but yeah um when we kill them they're going to drop a couple items so i'm actually gonna see if i can get one of them real quick uh, if my try to name wasn't so bad, I don't really get tired of that often, so having one is pretty it's pretty fun to use. But um, yeah, you'll notice they drop these prismarine crystals, and I actually have a couple of them in my inventory. And you can use these to craft the prismarine blocks. So if you need a renewable source of them, you can always um, first mine out the ocean monument, and then you can build a, for a farm afterwards. And um, yeah, they're usually some of the best XP farms in the game, so we're definitely going to build one of them later in the series but i feel like this ocean monument is a bit far from um our base so i might go and find a different one at some point to build the farm in but for now i think this has been a pretty successful raid uh <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead head back to the base and um see if uh you know we can do some stuff with these sponges okay we are back at the base and I've got the sponges here. Right now, they are called the wet sponges, but we are going to be turning them into dry sponges. 
Basically, there are two ways you can do this. One is you can smelt them in a furnace, which you can do, but there's actually a better way, and that involves the nether. So we're gonna head on in, and I'm actually going to see how, uh, or not see how, I guess I'm gonna make a little room, and like this, just, just a tiny room, very simple, very small, and what I'm gonna be doing is putting our sponges in the offhand, and then having a hoe in my other hand, and what I'm going to do is hold down left and right click and basically what I'm doing is right clicking and then hoeing the sponge and this turns the sponge into a regular sponge instead of a wet sponge so let's do that one more time and then we can put the stack fully in there and see when we hold our left and right click down uh, we can make a lot of a lot of them when it works it doesn't work all the time but this is uh, a very a very good way of making uh, or drying out the sponges very quickly and you know, it's kind of satisfying too. hearing that sound of the wet sponges Definitely very 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 satisfying. I kind of just like Spamming these things around, but yeah, we have all of them ready. That was pretty quick For I think either 1.15 or 1.16 you had to smelt them in that took a long time So having this nether option, it's really cool But I guess it's time for us to actually show you or time for me to actually show you how the sponge sponge works and so we're gonna be going ahead and finding a little area of water this area over here should work just fine and what you can do is place a sponge down and it's going to basically dry out a large area so look at that uh the sponge it's it's, it's pretty useful for like clearing out an ocean monument which i kind of ironically is you know where you find it and uh, also it's good for like these little situations over here if I want to clear out a large area, I can just put down a couple sponges and I'm going to die. Okay, that was slightly unexpected, but uh, you see my point, right? You get to put the sponges down so you can break them. And just like that, you should have quite a few more. And I've actually lost a sponge to a creeper so <laughs> that kind of sucks a little bit but hey what can you do you know what we can do actually is take our rage out on this um on the skeleton so yeah take that skeleton i don't have anything personal against you except the fact that i do but you know <laughs> we'll ignore that but i also i guess i have a couple sponges right here so i can show you that when we go ahead and smelt the things so i'm going to use some wood um there we go we'll smelt the sponges and then it will give us the sponge item so this is the other way of doing it much slower much less effective but then again if you don't have access to the nether or you just don't like the nether it you know you can just you can just uh smelt them up right <laughs> it also takes fuel so i mean i just i wouldn't recommend this option but you know whatever floats your boat right <laughs> but yeah now it's time to move on to the next part of the episode I think that it's now time for us to finally do something that I've been saying that we we're gonna do but haven't done for quite a while and that is going to be ender chest sorting because we're not really using this valuable resource to its greatest potential because you know although we have you know a couple things in here it definitely could be uh, much more efficient and right now we, we just have choker boxes full of junk so yeah I think the first thing we got to do is actually empty out the choker box so or the ender chest and so what I'm gonna be doing is just putting a chest right there and taking out all of this stuff so that we can reorganize it and you know make it look a lot better so although it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find out what we actually do need to put in there I think that um, this should be the majority of it so yeah as you can see bunch of junk <laughs> and we don't want a bunch of junk right so uh, actually we have to take out the shulker boxes too so there we go empty ender chest so uh, the first thing you want to do is have shulker boxes because these things are extremely useful for organizing whatever items you have in your inventory so I'm going to go ahead actually we need 24 shulker boxes so we're getting a little bit low on shulker shells I'll probably do an end busting stream at some point but yeah um I have to get the chests out, which we actually have over here. Yeah, right here. I need to craft a couple more, but... Oh, actually, no. No, we don't. And I'm just going to go ahead and craft up as many as I can. 
and put all of these for now into this ender chest so that we have a full ender chest and then I'm going to take out this shulker box because it has a bunch of junk in it actually not junk but stuff that we don't necessarily need and after that we are going to be doing the thing that I think is in my opinion the most important part of ender chest sorting and that is color coding your shulker boxes so that you know which ones are which and you can also use an anvil which I'll actually go ahead and grab so that we can rename the shulker boxes so that we can see even better so I've actually left a couple things in here so to start off this I think is going to be my ocean kit so what I'm gonna be doing is doing a or renaming the shulker box so, shulker box so for now I'm just gonna name it ocean kit and I'm going to color code it so that it is blue so I'm gonna grab some of my lapis dye and then we're gonna go ahead and put that in there and that is our ocean kit so I can go ahead and put that into the thing and then we have this one this is our um, end, end kit so I'm gonna actually be grabbing some more lapis because I do need a little bit of blue dye and what we're gonna be doing is combining the blue dye with the red dye to make a purple dye and then we're going to be doing this uh, for now I'll name this one ender pearls but it may change change if I decide to put other end related things in it so yeah, you don't be afraid to name a sugar box something that you don't think will stay because you know you can always change it but yeah ender pearls that's purple kind of fits the end theme so that's another shulker box in my opinion the uh, definition of riches in minecraft is diamonds right so what i like to do is use the light blue dye as a riches box because you know it kind of looks like a diamond color if you look at the colors you'll see that they're actually i mean not identical but this is about the closest color you're going to get to the diamonds so yeah and then now that we have this riches box, I'm actually going to go ahead and rename this one as well. So, uh, if it doesn't run away from me, I'm just going to go ahead and name this riches. Or, yeah, riches. Riches will work. And then, I'll put this one up here for now. And I think I'm going to put the the enchanted golden apple in here. Pretty useful. As well as a dragon egg. And let's see, what else do we have in here that's valuable? That's more of a tool. Okay, so, let's see. I mean... I might put in some of my resources from this in the future, but for now, that will work. That one's not finished for sure. And then after that, it's going to be doing one of the most important kits in my opinion, which is a backup gear set or your tools and gear set because that one is a category that will help you a lot if you die. So yeah, we're going to be grabbing one of these and I'm going to name this one tools and armor. And then we're gonna have an extra set for other kits, but uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention I do have pig step now, so we might play that at the end of the episode if you want. So <laughs> well, actually we probably will because you know it's pretty cool. Why am I doing that? Uh, put that in here, an orange shulker box. And the reason I do this is because, in my opinion, it looks kind of like a toolbox. And if you've ever seen like one of those uh, Bob the Builder or any of any of those old shows, they usually have a toolbox, and you know we might as well have one too. So. I actually do have a couple of diamond tools, so I'm going to just go ahead and see if there's any of the, the slightly better ones. I think that one's probably the best out of the ones that we have. see a pickaxe, need a backup pickaxe, and then a backup shovel, so I can just go ahead and put these in here. And then, let's see, just, you know, just some backup armor, just in case we were to die. And it can have curses on it, but in my opinion, you know, no curse of binding, because that one's actually not very good. We have a couple good pieces of armor, so this shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. Pro 4. Let's go like that. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the bottom. We do need an axe, which I might craft in the future. But this one's also good because you can put some of your other stuff in it. So, for instance, I have a trident and an elytra. So I'll put those in here. And these tools might fall in a different category, but I'm actually going to put these ones in here. Because, you know, those are tools. And the helmet will also go in here. So that's pretty cool. That's a decent tools and gear set, but that looks pretty good. And then I'm also going to be creating another um, tools and gear set, actually. So there's going to be two of those. And that's why you want to rename your shulker boxes as well, because uh, you, you never know when you're going to need to have two of the same color, right? So this one might be named, let's say, um, other gear. And then what we can do with this one is put stuff like our ender chests, our lodestones, 
any buckets of water we have, any sponges, so all of these things, oh, sorry, <laughs> might be having that little glitch again, but I'll fix that in the future. Um, but yeah, we can put all of our, like, ender chests in here, and that's actually kind of weird. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see, sponges and a bucket of water, so that's a decent set of, you know, just other gear. I might actually just line them up right here. That's pretty good. Maybe even put a bed in there, but I like to keep the bed with me, actually, so that's pretty good other gear and then we're gonna need a uh, shulker box for our food so I like to use golden carrots soft a lot but right now I'm using steak but mostly golden carrots so what we're doing is making a yellow shulker box so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these and I'm just kind of gonna guide you through each of the colors and or my opinions for which colors are good and then what you're gonna put in them because if you want to do something similar to me then you can have a you know a good understanding of which ones might be good because uh, I went through a lot of different phases where I used different colors, but you know I've kind of settled on on these ones after a lot of time. So yeah, steak in here, and we could have actually put the the uh, the uh, enchanted golden apple in there, but <laughs> I feel like that's that's more of a riches. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna bring the golden apples and our golden carrots with us, so we can go ahead and put these ones in here. Just some basic lunch you know <laughs> but yeah these are some pretty good categories in the future you might have an iron box or a, uh, a bone meal box depending on the farms that you have but uh, yeah one other one redstone box because uh, even if you're not a technical minecrafter having some a redstone box can help you a lot in case you ever need to you know make a redstone creation so I just like to have one I don't always do redstone contraptions contraptions but when I do it is useful to have so actually we do have an a redstone chest over here so I'm gonna make another shulker box for redstone like that and I don't know what I'm doing honestly uh, redstone box and then I'm gonna put some red on that or er, not white but like that red that's pretty good right there and uh, yeah we got a couple a good amount of them right here right but there's a couple more I want to add or at least one more and that's gonna be a firework box and we need white dye for that so Go ahead and put that in and do this and I like fireworks to be you know the red work the red ones because uh, or <laughs> the white ones because I use the red for the redstone so you know a firework is both red and white so I just had to go with you know the other color so uh, we can actually put some of our pack of rockets in there and the leads will probably go in one of those shulker boxes as well so we're gonna go pull that one out pull this one back in Put the redstone in here actually i forgot to do that and maybe even put like a stack of redstone blocks in here just to help out we might organize that one in the future this uh tools and gear i feel like these ones fall more on the category of you know your average gear so that's pretty cool we've emptied out that chest as well as uh the other ones so now we have a pretty decent shulker box and we have tons of or ender chest i keep mixing them up but yeah, now we have a full ender chest full of lots of different choker boxes that we can rename and use. I'm definitely going to add more as the series goes on. But for now, I feel like this is a good base set. I may be forgetting one or two. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm actually going to go ahead and put these in our riches box because choker boxes are, you know, always valuable. So go ahead and keep that in there. And also know that I can kind of see what's in the choker boxes. And that's because of a mod that i use that lets me do that so we can go ahead and look inside these peek inside them makes it even more convenient for you know whenever you're trying to sort through your gear because otherwise you just see uh a couple lines of text and that's i don't like that in my opinion so uh yeah we have pretty much gathered everything that we're gonna need i feel like maybe we should put this extra sponge in here I, it's kind of irks me and <laughs> we have one more than a stack but it should be fine right <laughs> But yeah, that is a fully sorted ender chest, or not fully sorted, you know you know what I mean, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode because, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorting your ender chest, uh, you know, it's one of those things that can just take a while. And uh, the ocean monument raid was pretty fun, right? But uh, yeah, nothing really changed on the exterior of our base this time, but you know, we, we did make progress. So yeah, if you did enjoy this episode of the Minecraft Manual, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This has been Glitching Out. Goodbye, everyone.